All right, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today, we are taking a look at a brand new truck. This is from John Ruda, as you probably gathered from the title. And this is the brand new Freight Shaker Coronado SD. It just came out, uh, I guess, Friday evening, Saturday morning, depending on where you are in the world. Um, so it's absolutely brand new. And uh, we're going to do a review of it. So no driving component uh, right now because there is a lot that we need to get to. And I want to make sure that I'm doing a thorough job because this is absolutely brand new. And I know that a lot of you are looking for a lot of detailed information because it does cost money. Um, this is a $25 truck as all of them are with John Ruta. You can get them cheaper if you buy his four main trucks in the pack. This uh, is not one of the ones that comes in the pack though. Um, and even though it's reasonably priced, especially for what you get, not everyone has that $25 to spend on just about anything. So a lot of times these review videos really help you if you're on the fence or to figure out if something is just uh, a higher priority or if it's not going to happen right now. So, but that being said, um, I did purchase this with my own money um, and I really like it. So I really think you're going to like the review that we are doing today. Uh, before we get into that, just wanted to let you know that I will have timestamps down in the description. So if you're only focusing on just the interior or the exterior or you want to go back to it afterwards and rewatch, timestamps will be down there. And last bit of business, thank you to two people. Um, I was actually uh, watching the uh, Ride Along with Goggles uh, live stream today, or which would have been Saturday, and uh, someone named Steve Draves pointed out in the chat that this truck was available. And I immediately, while I was still watching the, the stream, went over, made sure that I got it. And uh, so thanks, Steve Draves, and also Mark Mitchell Brown, who on uh, Goggles56 Discord pointed it out. Uh, without those two notifications, I wouldn't have been able to get this right away so that I had enough time to test it. And I basically purchased the thing, tested it out, and then I'm here recording so that you guys can see this on Sunday. So special uh, shout out to those guys and to Goggles56 for the live stream. Um, I was there for probably the first four hours of it. Man, that is a long stream. The amount of time and effort that Goggles goes into, uh, Dan, <laughs> uh, is absolutely amazing. So thank you to Goggles um, for putting that on. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this review. Okay, and just to repeat, this is Payware. Uh, this is a $25 truck. Absolutely great value for what you get in this truck. Let's go ahead and break it down. So when we start with the cabin, we have three different ones. I have it set up here as the 70 inch raised roof, uh, but you can also get the 70 inch mid roof that may be appealing for some other people. Um, and then there's the 70 inch mid roof. So this is the mid roof, this is the mid roof XT. Um, I'm going with that and the reason why, the, my first drive I actually uh, used Ruta's refrigerator truck. So it lines up with the height of it. Absolutely perfect. In fact, let me show you. So you get perfect aerodynamics. This may, I was going to take a drive and I realized how long this review was going to be. And I don't think you guys need to sit through like 45 minutes of drive and build. So we're just doing the build portion today. Um, but this is, uh, John Ruta's, uh, refrigerator trailer and the skin is by Richard Brown Moosehead Breweries so I did my best to match the color of the truck to the existing skin from Richard Brown and uh, yeah and do a little bit of a uh, bit of a drive with some craft brew um, anyway let's get this trailer out of the way even though we like it let's move on to the chassis and we have a typical 6x4 or we could do a 6x4 long we could also do an 8x4 long. We get a lift axle there. And an 8x6 long. I assume you lose the lift axle at that point. So there's the 8x4 long and the 8x6 long. Um, so that does it with the chassis. Um, there are quite a few engines that come with this. 
um, I've gone ahead and made it compatible with Z mods, DD13, DD15, and DD16, uh, as well as Serial Black's Cummins ISX engines. And the reason why I did that is because those are some of the most common uh, engines that you will find on this. Um, of course, I found a couple that were like repurposed Cat 3406Es, but for the most part, you're talking about Detroit and Cummins. And uh, that's why I would pick one of these. Again, this first one, DD13, 15, 16, is from Z Mods. It is payware. Um, so is the Serial Black Cummins ISX. Though, if you're looking for a Cummins ISX, I know you can also find that. I believe you can also find that from Slav Jerry if you don't want to pay for it. But this is a great engine, trust me. What we're going to do is we're just going to look at the engines from the uh, uh, Coronado itself. And some of the usual suspects that we'll see, the 444, C15, 8V92, PACR. We got um, an N14 in there, another 444, 3406E. We see a couple different versions of that. The DD60, Cummins M11, PACR MX13, another M11. And we do actually have a couple, uh, This just these just come with the truck, uh, a couple IX... ISX 15s, a couple X 15s, and another couple N 14s of various types. So don't worry about purchasing an engine just because I said that it's customary. I did a lot of, a little bit of research on it. Don't feel like you're obligated to have to spend money on that. Plenty of engines come with this. And if you want to upgrade, that is completely up to you. Uh, standard transmissions. I don't even think we need to really go through these, but you're these are your just typical 10, 13s, and 18s with retarder or without retarder. So let's go ahead and let's start on the inside because the inside uh, usually is a lot less involved. Um, it is like that in all trucks to some degree, though I was pretty astounded by the number of accessories that we have. So we don't have anything in this portion for the interior to be able to customize at this point. But if you take a look around, We've got colors here, we've got colors on the door, we've got the tufting, we've got this, we've got the carpet, we have this area back here. All of this can be changed, so you don't even really need anything, because usually this is like your basic paint scheme inside the game, or inside the truck. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories, and you'll see we have a ton of nodes. A ton of nodes for $25. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So let's go through all these now. Uh, first one is your steering wheels. There is a uh, steering wheel compatibility um, mod that comes with this. It's a, I think there's like five or six different files that come with it, um, not including like the engine sounds and all that. You'll see it when you download it. And it's very clear where to put them all because John Ruta, as always, has put uh, out a detailed mod order. Um, but we can get these in all different kinds of colors. I think I wanted to go with green originally, and I thought, you know what? I was doing so much green that I needed something to stand out. Um, so I'm just kind of going through these. Basically, that comes in like seven or eight different colors. And then, of course, you have your usual suspects down here that you normally have with the steering wheel DLC. Um, nothing really new there. I'm probably going to... A lot of people like the SCI. I'm probably going to keep something, keep it real simple with that Freightliner logo. I like that a lot. Um, at this time, no nodes to control anything in terms of the speedometers, in terms of the gauges, in terms of the bezels or anything like that. However, we do have control over this little wood piece. I'll go through the different options here. Black, dark. Um, interior wood. We have another light interior wood. I'm just going to scroll through these so you can see lots of different options. You got your carbon, you got your red carbon, you even got your white carbon. So lots of different options there. I think I had it set on this. That's what we'll go back to. We also have the uh, dashboard color right here. I have the green selected, but this is going to change just the dashboard portion. And I'll scroll through these real fast so that you can see all the different colors. Again, there are a lot of them so that you can customize it to match the outside if you want or get any kind of crazy color scheme going on. 
um, we also have the option to do this uh, this whole panel down here. Do we want it to go in a gloss black or do we want aluminum? And by the way, it also changes here for these uh, vents over there. I'll change it back one more time. Here's gloss black. And here is the aluminum. Pretty cool. We've got some options that we can put up on the dashboard. We've got a front mirror on the right. We've got a front mirror on the left. We have a windshield corner, and we can decide where we want to put this GPS, whether we want phone, do we want it on the left, do we want it on the right, what size do we want. So we got a couple different options right there. You can also put the GPS right here in the upper left, bottom right, or the upper right. So basically all four corners, all different kinds of shapes and sizes to customize how you guys want to drive this. Something cool to know that I did, and this is an app that I haven't used in quite a while, but if I come in here to Window Scratches, because I actually have it enabled, um, this is this is a completely different mod. It has nothing to do with it, but I forgot to take it out, and I think some of you might see this and say, what's wrong with his windshield? It's nothing wrong with his windshield. This is an extra mod. I use it for an additional realism, especially when you got some more flare coming in and it really will distract you just like in real life uh sunroof we'll take a look at that on the outside hanging items as usual cb radio you got your options between the cobra uh, ltd and the cobra lx and then we have chops if you want to put them on the side i don't usually go for chops so i'm going to go ahead and cancel that something really cool here notice how we have a seat belt we can get this in tons of different colors I think this is the first time in a mod that I've seen uh, the users be able to change the colors of the seat belts. That's really cool. That Maybe you guys have seen it. Let me know down below. That is definitely a first for me. You can also have a curtain over it, though, and this will hide the seat belt. Just a note. We can get it in black leather, um, leather beige, blue, brown, cherry, leather green, leather gray, leather orange, leather red, and leather white. Or if you don't want that in the way and you want to see, you want others to see how you've styled your seatbelt, and I do <laughs> because I like green. Are you kidding? Then I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Here's another first for me. The uh, armrests. Do you want them up or do you want them down? And you can also change the you can also change the color of the seat itself. If you don't like the green, you can go with black, leather, beige, blue, brown, cherry, gray, orange, red, or white. So, so cool. You can change out the color of the seat. You can change the, uh, the way the armrests are, the seat belt. Definitely some new stuff here. Here is where you change the carpet. And it doesn't just change the carpet in the back. You can see it'll change for everything. Um, we've got black, beige, blue, brown. Spin over here. Cherry, green, gray, orange, red, white. So we see a theme coming through where you can change the colors of your different panels, your seats, the carpet, and you get tons of colors to be able to customize this. Really like that. This is something that is kind of unique here. So this plastic part, it's, it's in the back, but it is actually going to control a whole lot of stuff. So right now it looks like we got beige pretty much everywhere, and we got beige here on this tufting. But if we change this node that says in plastic and we change it to black, boom. Notice how it's changed all of this. So we can do that in plastic black. I'm going to move so you can see all the things that are being affected back to the beige. So it's mainly stuff all the way up overhead, but it's also this little plastic part down here. See if I go to black, it's this whole section, that whole section. We'll go back to beige again, blue, try to pick a view where you can see a lot of it all at one time. Plastic blue, brown. So you got cherry, green, gray, orange, red, and white. And what are the differences here? Interior color down, interior color up. See if we can notice a difference between those. 
I really can't see it. Oh, something happened over there. Oh, wow. Okay, so maybe that's the reason why it's back here. You actually get an additional bunk. So with all of these colors, do you want your bunk to be folded up like that? Or do you want your bunk folded down? That is the purpose of that. Maybe that's why they put that node back there so you see that you know, out of your peripheral vision there. Although it does control all the rest of this too. That's really cool. Just figure that out right now. Um, the bed color, you can change that to all of the same colors that I've already gone through. Green, orange, gray, red, white. So um, now to change out this tufting here, you actually want to change it here. And this is going to control the tufting there on the glove box, on the doors, as well as back here. I, no, actually, I think that's its own note. But let's go ahead and change this real fast. Black, uh, beige, blue brown, cherry, green. I don't think anything else is changing. Nope, nothing else is changing. Go through the rest. Gray, orange, red, white. And now to change the tufting here in the back, in wall, and then we can change that. And I think what I had done here is I went ahead and I left it beige. And then I went in here and I left this beige. And then I wanted all the plastic to be black. And now that it's, I'm going to leave that bunk down. That looks pretty cool. Um, so we'll go with black with the bunk down. And then is where I added my additional color here, where I went with the green chair. I went with the armrest down. Went with the green seat belt. So I've kind of got a black and tan and green, and this should not be red. Let's make this green as well. So that's the kind of, oh, yeah, and I also did. Go figure, I did a uh, green carpet. Where is it? Maybe that's too much. Well, it looks kind of like turf. If that looks too much like turf. Go back to like a gray or a black, a little bit neutral, maybe match all of the rest of this. So tons of different options here. Um, obviously, we also have the shifter too. And now you're going to get ball. So your options, standard, your slim, eaten fuller, you get a ball. You get this slim knob. You get a stock. You get the same knob in chrome. And then the rest of these are different thicknesses and different heights. So if we go through here, we can start to see that the actual, um, this portion here is actually getting a little bit thicker. And then as we go, we start to see the height increase. There are so many options just on the shifters, all variants of this knob or the ball or the standard Eaton Fuller. So customize that to your heart's content for sure. Um, I got water and a Fanta in there. Um, what else did I skip over? Hopefully I didn't skip over anything too incredibly important on the inside. Obviously just normal, you know, places for, you know, put stuff. And I got some pen holders, got a pizza, got a box on the floor. So you still get those if you want that realism but tons of options just in the interior. I wasn't expecting uh, to have to go this long into the interior stuff, uh, but it's another reason why I decided when I went through this the first time, you know what, I don't wanna just fly through this and skip stuff just so that we can get a drive in. Let's just focus on the build itself. And that is exactly what we are doing today. So that's the interior. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with the outside. As far as the paint job goes, we've got um, our standard um, metallic standard uh, basic colors. There's also something that you can put in for your template. Um, I just went ahead with this uh, custom metallic, although you can go with a custom non-metallic. I like the metallic because you can kind of customize it. It was actually pretty much needed to get these two colors to best match that. They match pretty good in here, um, a little bit uh, less so in real person. And really the only way you're gonna get these things to match is if you know these hex codes, um, then you can enter them here. I roughly matched it though. Uh, so that's basically what's going on with the paint. There's no uh, specific skins that come alongside it. Although us, I think we'll start to see our usual suspects, um, goggles, uh, Polly's custom skins, 
uh, pups and probably also Richard Brown putting some skins on this in the very near future uh, once they get familiar with that template. All right, now let's take a look at the accessories for the outside. And as you can see, there's a few. Yeah, there's a few. So let's go ahead and we'll start down low here. Um, we have a plate holder and this is the only thing that I see that isn't quite working. That's for me. And it's happening in the front. As I click on it, I get the plate holder and there's like another node, but it's grayed out and I'm not getting any other options. Same thing is happening here in the back where I go to put on a custom plate. You can see the little dot here, but when I click on, and by the way, I have everything selected. Nothing is being restricted. I go and click on this dot and nothing shows up over here. So right now that's the only thing that I see that's maybe not complete or is missing right now. Although when I put on the bumper, I did have the option to choose my own state license plate. So not a big deal. Just wanted to point that out. Then we have fog lights. We can do, we can do only the high beams here, or we can make them low and high beams so that the, this will actually change out as you would normally change. So as these go to high, these would go to high as well, if you want. So that's pretty cool. We'll turn the lights off and then we'll get to the bumper itself. Many different bumpers here. I'm just gonna kind of scroll through them. You can see the different shapes. None of them come with a default light setup that I saw. No. No, none of them come with like a default on the lights. So that's going to be up to you guys to create. If you like the nodes, you'll really be liking this. And obviously I had the lights down here as well. But for, and this is actually paint. Wow. I think I had this one. Yeah, and with a bunch of lights down there. Um, and then you have your oversized, your oversized warning signs. Got that in there. You got the oversized load. You got the second version of the oversized load. Now, let's go ahead and move these out of the way so we can just focus on the grill here. Um, if you want the lights to be chrome, or if you want them to be color, again, chrome and color. Let me move over here a little bit more so you guys can see. And the grill, do you want it painted like mine or do you want it in chrome? Then we have the outer grill. We can get that in chrome or we can get it in color. Probably just leave it in color. You can get the badge, the Freight Shaker badge in chrome or in color. And then of course I went with a duck. I like ducks. You can also go with swans and each one of them comes in both a chrome and a color. Here's the other ornaments. I'm gonna go ahead and step up here so you can see them. The ducks. It's pretty cool. All right, let's get out of here. So it does, there are a lot of nodes and it can get a little confusing here really quick. So these lights on the side, do you want them to be more amber or more white there on the fender? Now these are going to apply in just a second. I'm actually gonna leave that out for right now. But this little filter on the side, do we want chrome? This one is OEMW, I guess, is that just white as opposed to amber? And those can both come in a color as well. Oh yeah, uh, so you get the color with the amber light or you get the color with the white light streak across there. These are interior things. You can put a company logo here on the side. You can do your own logo in black or white, or you can get Summit Transportation in black or white, so that's pretty cool. Um, now this is something that I didn't even notice at, uh, I, this one totally passed my attention. Uh, so. We got six inch in chrome and color, and that's that's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know if I would do that. That's pretty unique though, because it is kind of a metallic color. Um, we have seven inch in chrome and color, and we have the eight inch in chrome and color. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that. Uh, normally we would leave it. Eh, we'll leave it in chrome. Usually the chrome, the air filters, the tanks. I like to use that to separate it. That's just me. 
And of course, we can look at the exhaust itself. I have the 8-inch straights on here right now, but we can also get the Tip Tech 9 in chrome if you like that. You get 90s, you get 8-inch 45, 8-inch Aussies, 8-inch mitered chrome, and then we also, so you get all of these different options, shapes, all the way, it looks like we're only dealing with 8-inch though here. So just these different shapes, Bull, Bull 45, 90, Chino, Chino 45, tons of different options. I don't think anyone's going to have a problem trying to figure out how to make this truck feel just the way you want it. Uh, front bar, of course, and this will actually come on when you do the, uh, when you do the high beams. And then you also have what I thought were going to be beacons, but this is actually the interior light inside. And you can choose between all these colors, blue, green, purple, red, and your standard amber. Now we can get antennas here for the mirrors. That looks pretty cool. And then you can also customize what kind of sun visor you want. Here's uh, the first version in Chrome, second version in Chrome, third version in Chrome. And then that's where you can really go to town with all those lights. And of course, you also have all three of those options in whatever color. So that's pretty cool. For the mirrors, one of the things that's changing here is not the face of it from the driver's side, but is what is happening on the outside. So we can get this chrome here and we can have the amber lights on it. We can get the white lights on it, or we can just do it without those and customize with these nodes anything that you want on it. This I happen to be pulling directly from the uh, light pack from John Ruta. So, or you could also get chrome on the back, or color on the back of these, excuse me. Uh, so lots of options there too. Now when it comes to the steps, there's so many different things that we that we have going on here. Um, this is main. This is for your main step. I'm just going to go through some of these options here. Just combinations of chrome and paint and aluminum and different combinations. But so many options. This is a $25 truck, guys. I know for a lot of you, you don't like to you don't like pay where you don't want to spend money on it. That's fine. I totally get it. But what you're getting for the $25 is completely amazing. So many different customizations. And then we also have nodes over here. So that we can turn this is this portion here. We can turn this chrome or we can go with the color. And this other step here. See, these are the sides here where we can go with the chrome. Oh, see, you can totally redo. There's so many options for this. In just the aluminum, the chrome, and the paint. You can go to town on it for sure. And then this second step, I think that's, I think we already went over it. Yeah, we already went over this one. Um, this is your def tank, and you can either go with your standard color, you know, standard color with chrome on the sides. You have a chrome and aluminum combination. I do kind of like that because I like that pattern. And you can get it with the chrome on the sides too, or you can just switch over and and do all all color, or you can do all chrome or all aluminum. So you have so many customizations just within this portion itself. And then of course, when we're we're looking at the little steps here on top of the tank, I like to you know, have them set out a little bit so that the tanks can stand out. But then you also have the, and I'll probably leave these chrome, but you can go chrome here. You can go chrome with color, extended tanks. So this is the 150 gallon tank as opposed to the 100. And then just look at all of these options that you've got here. And then I'm sure you can probably put, uh, can you put steps on all these two? Yep, you can put short steps on it, you can put long steps, so many options. All right, now let's keep going with this. A lot of these are interior options, so I don't, I want to make sure that we kind of skip over them. But right here, this cap color, do you want it colored or chrome? Again, that's right here, colored or chrome. And then we move to the back here. Up at the top, we have our rear LED bar, and this will trigger once you're in reverse. Cab handles, I actually have it selected for dual handles. But here's another dual handle. Oh, and it actually adds a third one right there up on top. And I'll just scroll through a couple of the other combinations here.
And then you can get wings on here if you want. You can get wings with an extended black piece, or you can get it in chrome, which is pretty cool. And then here are all of your lights on the back. I'll just go ahead and scroll through them, all the different patterns. And I have to say that on a lot of trucks, I see a lot of options for tanks and a lot of options for steps, but then I won't see a lot of options for all this customization on the interior or vice versa. And this really is giving you so many options for this truck. It's really amazing. And then we have the trailer cables. We can keep them base stuck to the truck or we can have them there on their own platform or custom. They can go in the back right along there. So we're just going to go ahead and post these up alongside the truck because uh, the reefer gets pretty close in there anyway. As far as the chassis, you can get different uh, colors, different textures, and you can also get different lengths as we come down here. We could get a full black. We can get a full color. You can get a full chrome. It's just so many options and all these colors and textures and lengths. And then we can customize the chassis as well. So let's go ahead and change it to paint so we see what changed. And there's even more for that. We have fenders, and it looks like we've got 24 inches in Hogue Belt, two different versions. Let me scroll over here so you can see those a little bit better. 24s, they're lower or higher. And then we've got 27 higher or lower. We got 30 inches higher and lower. And then let's keep going. Why not? 34 higher, lower. Then you got the half tandem, the half tandem color, the single axle chrome single axle color, and let's do a couple more. Hogue built full tandem chrome, Hogue built full tandem color. What more options do you need, guys? This is, <laughs> that's really cool. It's like, what I feel like is going on here is recently John Ruta did updates to all of his trucks, and I feel like the additions that he brought onto the trucks is something that he decided, I want those to be standard in all my trucks. That's why you see, even in this first version release of the truck, it already has just as many nodes as all the rest of his trucks. Uh, so it's he doesn't want to put them uh, so that their their first release is already just minimal mode, uh, nodes. He wants all of it to be that way. We can even change the color of the transmission. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. You can get the transmission in black or the transmission in color. You can kind of see it there. And then you can also change the suspension. The suspension can be in black or in color. There we go. That was a, let me do that again. Black and color. We'll find the right angle for these. There we go. So let's see if we can see a better version of it here. There we go. Black and color, or you can have it hidden. See, that's why I couldn't see it. It was the word hidden. That was the dead giveaway. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, as usual, bottom light, uh, you got this glow you can put and assign it either to beacon or to parking, and you get them in orange, green, blue. Let's see, blue, green, orange, and red, just like the rest of his trucks. Don't think I'm missing any nodes here. Tons of customization. And then let's finally go to the back where we can choose this back uh, bumper cap. We can do it in color, black, chrome or aluminum now let's get to this this one says r2 let's do r1 first this is uh chassis bracket r2 let's make sure that we get to let's make sure we get to this one first because the shape is going to determine what you can put on that so a couple different options so without any sort of mud flaps two lights two lights color four lights four lights color six lights and here is where you begin to add those uh, those fenders in there or those mud flaps. So six uh, six lights chrome, six lights paint, ten lights chrome, ten lights paint. Then you have a standard. You can go back and get the two, but this in up here you had two lights without them, and now you get two lights. And now you get two lights with those mud flaps and then you're thinking oh well can I change the mud flaps well of course you can once you have flaps selected then you go ahead and you go back to 
the bracket R2, and we've got um, these these American Truck Store uh, logos. I'm just going to go through these. Eagle, Eagle Static for Multiplayer, Fire, uh, Freightliner might be a good one. I like Goodyear, and I like Caution Wide Turns. And a lot of these come in just the standard and the ones that are static for multiplayer. And then you also have the ones for your own logo. So tons of different options. And then once you get to the plate, again, I mentioned this at the beginning. This is the only thing, this one and the license plate in front, where if you click on the node, nothing happens. That's the only thing. If you can figure out if I'm doing something wrong, um, that would be great. Just go ahead and leave it down in the comments. But that is, those, that's the only thing. The only thing is putting a license plate on there. And even for the front bumper, you have a workaround for that. So those are all the options inside, out, paint, engines, chassis, cabin, tons of different options for this. Really impressed. Um, again, it's like John Ruta is saying, you know what? Now that I've learned, now that I've made the changes and the updates to all my other trucks, let me just make that the standard. And he's making the standard, he's elevating it, but he's keeping the same price as he always releases. Uh, just tremendous amount of value, $25 for this truck. Um, again, pay wear, I should point that out, because uh, I don't want to mislead anyone. But yeah, those are all of the settings. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. You see why we're not doing a build and drive, because this video is already pretty long. And again, I'll have timestamps down below so you can see all the different sections that you want to go back and revisit them at any point. Anyway, uh, comments or questions down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.